Now it's you now. Stand up. You see, you were, you, were, you were attacking me in a wrong time. Let's, talk, let's not talk about calling. Let's talk about marriage. Yes, Papa. It was cancelled on the 2nd of June. Eh? I was supposed to get married on the 2nd of June. And it has been stopped. Yes, Papa. So why are you focusing on calling than marriage? I thought calling, maybe the anointing is the one that I need the most. I can't hear you. The anointing of God is the one that I need the most. Because it's what about your Christian life? Because it's the most important issue. Your Christian life than anointing. Because anointing follows the character you create between you and Jesus, which is the relationship yes, of Papa. you and Jesus. It brings anointing that is needed. Yes, Papa. You understand? There's a brother you disappointed. Now, you see you disappoint this one. You are looking on that one. The disappointment here will work against you there. You hear that? But God wants to bless you with a right man. Thank you. Come to me. I, pray. I want to pray for you. Maybe you will marry a pastor. What if you marry a pastor? It's okay, Papa. Okay, what if you marry a businessman? It would be better to marry a pastor because I'm struggling with the church, Papa. Yeah, 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 you have got your own church? Yes, I've been hiding for 10 years. I, I just cannot accept. I feel like... So can you see what is important for you is marriage? Because whoever comes there, undermine you. Okay. And no one trusts that you are called. Yes, Papa. Huh? Even these people that I'm seeing here. They're just looking at you when you are preaching. It's like they are, it's like you are playing because they can't even hear what you are saying. Yes, Papa. What is important? Let's break the spirit. Yes, Papa. Of making you not to marry. If this thing happen, God will give you a right man. Now, the ministry here will have a shape because your ministry here is like this. People they don't stay in the church. It's true, Papa. Huh? It's true. Papa. Touch your stomach. So what are you doing? I don't know. Come, leave her, leave her, leave her. Don't touch her. Look here. If this one can be delivered, all of you people, you will be delivered. I'm telling you. So I see a spiritual husband, eh? Yes, Papa. Huh? Yes, Papa. There's a spiritual husband that come to you. Yes, Papa. And I'm seeing it like a snake. <laughs> Put a mic there. Ouch! Oh, leave it! <sighs> leave this stomach. Huh? You say yes, sir. Hey, wait now. Yo! Demon, come on. What are you doing? Huh? What? Leave my sister. Come on. Come on. Leave my sister. Huh? Come on. You demon. Come on. Ouch. Now she's free. You're free now. My sister, you're free, eh? You're free. The already, this complaints will bring <laughs> spirits on you. Thank you. You understand? Thank you, Papa. Where's your church? It's in Lachtenbeck at Budibe. Huh? It's in Lachtenbeck at Budibe. Lachtenbeck, Northwest. Rustenbeck? Lachtenbeck. Not La far from Rustenbeck. Lachtenbeck, please. You must carry on. Thank you, Papa. God loves you. Thank you. I know in your church, there is nobody who can marry you now. Yes, but go connect you with someone. Thank you, Papa. Don't give up. Don't give up. 
Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't, don't give up. Don't give up. Thank you. Thank you. I will tell you, you know, what Satan does. If you have got nothing with him, he will never come to you. So what he does, he has to deposit something in you. Either eating or sleeping or what he does, people make you to talk lies. When you are lying to me, when you are answering your lie, now you are able to be attacked now. Many of you, you find that, like when I was speaking with my son here, from now, when people speak with you, don't just answer. Don't entertain any, anything. You just listen. Oh, okay. You pray. Or some of you, you take people closer to you. Those who are married especially, what you can do, your spouse must be close to you. You speak with your spouse things which are serious. Don't share it with every member in the church there. They will just give you their spirits because many of them have come there for your deliverance. For their deliverance. Now, they, they can end up thinking they know you. They deliver you because they will give you things that they are having. When you are a pastor, you give things that you are having to the people. And the people, when they say amen, they are also giving you things. When they are agreeing, you are exchanging. You are receiving, they are receiving. You are receiving from God, they are receiving from you. But if you start to receive from them, God won't give you anything. So it goes by, where are you receiving? If now it's members, they are feeding you with story stories, and you are close to them, God there will say, I can't, I can't tell this person anything. From there you'll be surprised, no vision, no what, no what. What God wants to do, like what he's doing on my side here, he wants to give you visions of all over the world. There's a vision. Can you tell us about the vision uh, you saw of what will happen? Yes, that it, there, there's a time that you prayed for me. Then you said, God is going to open your eyes and you are going to do things that are going to shock the world. I told you that. Yes, then the, the elections that are taking place in Zimbabwe, then a week before, then and, and I... you saw it. Yes, and I spoke how everything took place starting from the beginning everything that he, in such a way that some media houses now they began to call me they wanted to begin to interview me how i saw everything that took place in zimbabwe so i was i was refusing i wanted to to get instruction from you it's a lot daddy yeah so things like that even what you saw yeah, he's clapping hands. At least it's only one person who heard you. This man heard you. This one. Heard you.